in great company. It was the year 1910 when the SS Pearl set sail from the coast of Africa. On board was a young man named James, who was only 12 years old at the time. James was traveling with his parents to start a new life in America. They were seeking adventure and a better life, but little did they know that adventure was not what they were going to get. One night, while James was sleeping in his cabin, the ship hit a rock and began to sink. James awoke to the sound of chaos and screams. The ship was going down fast, and James was forced to jump into the sea to save himself. He held onto a piece of the wreckage as he drifted to the shore of an unknown island. Days turned into weeks, and James began to learn how to survive on the island. He discovered that there were fruits and vegetables that he could eat, and fish that he could catch in the ocean. He also found ways to make shelter and clothing from the things he found on the island. Over the years, James learned to live off the land, and he developed a close bond with the animals that lived there. He found peace in the solitude, and he grew strong and healthy. He had no contact with the outside world, and no idea of what was happening in the rest of the world. One day, after 20 years of living on the island, a ship appeared on the horizon. James was excited at the possibility of rescue, but as the ship approached, he began to feel uncertain. He realized that he had become used to solitary life on the island, and he was not sure if he was ready to return to civilization. As the ship came closer, James made the decision to hide from his would-be rescuers. He found a place where he could watch them from a distance, but they did not see him. As the ship sailed away, James felt a sense of sadness and relief. He knew that he had preserved his sense of freedom, something he had become used to. Years passed and James continued to live on the island, living a simple and contented life. He often thought about the ship that he had seen, but he knew that he had made the right decision. He had found a sense of peace and contentment for which he felt grateful. As he grew old, James realized that he had become a part of the island and the island had become a part of him. He had learned to live in harmony with nature and had found a deep sense of purpose in his life. And even though he was alone, he had never felt more alive. As James lay on his deathbed, he smiled, knowing that he had lived a life full of adventure and discovery. And as he took his last breath, he knew that he had found his true home, in a place where he had lived fully, without any need for anyone else. That's it. Thanks for watching and listening, everyone. And remember to enjoy the journey. See you next time. Bye-bye.